I'm Richard Roper, and this is the Roper Rundown. When White Sox first baseman Jose Abreu was named American League Rookie of the Month and Player of the Month for April, I have to admit my instant reaction was the old White Sox fan Second City Chip on the Shoulder special. Abreu would already be 10 times more famous if he were a Yankee or even a Cub, I said in a couple of semi-serious tweets. Now come on! The guy had 10 home runs and 32 RBI before May 1st, more than any other rookie in the history of baseball. If that happens in New York, Abreu's on Fallon by now. Okay, granted, the 27-year-old Abreu is hardly a kid like recent sensations Yasiel Puig, Mike Trout, or Bryce Harper. He's been a feared slugger in Cuba for years. And I caught some well-deserved shit on Twitter from baseball fans noting Chicago is hardly a small market. As fans in Kansas City and Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh noted, Abreu would be even less known if he played there. Still, the guy flew under the radar all month despite all those home runs, including a walk-off grand slam. And even though the White Sox have a modern-day World Series title and the Cubs don't, and even though the Crosstown Classic this week doesn't carry nearly the drama it did back in the day when nearly all the games were sold out, and players from Sammy Sosa to Paul Canerco to Carlos Zambrano to A.J. Brzezinski, they were all involved in some really dramatic confrontations and moments, old habits die hard. What can I tell you? Sox fans are always going to feel like it's a Cubs town, and at least some Cub fans are going to always think of us as the resentful sibling. Now one thing all pure baseball fans can agree on, Jose Abreu had an amazing first month in the major leagues. Here's hoping the number 79 jersey becomes a familiar sight in the stands on the south side this season. In the meantime, one thing Cubs and Sox fans can all agree on, go Hawks! I'm Richard Roper, this is the Roper Rundown. Okay, so you know what this gold baseball is all about, this white and gold baseball? It's from the Home Run Derby. And the participants in the Home Run Derby, if they hit the gold ball out of the stands, it's like a bunch of money goes to charity, which is really cool. Now the thing is, if they don't hit the gold ball out of the stands, they have to watch the Johnny Depp version of Willy Wonka. Okay, so it's really cool the White Sox, every once in a while they send me like these custom made jerseys, but the truth is, I never wear them in public. I don't think a guy my age should be wearing teen jerseys while seeing kids half his age on the field. My favorite is at Bears games. We see all these guys wearing the orange jersey. So you get like a 325 pound guy in a Forte jersey that he's stretching the limits of and he's yelling, hey Forte, you suck, you lost a step. I'm like, dude, you haven't seen your feet since 1997 and you're telling that guy he lost a step while wearing the jersey? Not for me. <laughs>